what's up guys it is Kay Central here and today I am bringing you some very interesting and very very highly speculative piece of Kingdom Hearts 3 news for you guys today very very speculative oh hey it's been a month <laughs> uh, sorry about that um as always there's just not a lot to talk about regarding Kingdom Hearts 3 it's kind of been slow um yes I know there was the world list leak thing that happened um, but I decided not to look at that because I didn't want to spoil the game for myself and I didn't want to spoil the thing for you guys and make a video about it just to get views, you know, stuff like that. So that's why I didn't talk about it. But with that out of the way, um, let's talk about this very interesting little piece of Kingdom Hearts 3 news. So in the January 2018 issue of the PlayStation Official Magazine UK and the February issue of PlayStation Official Magazine Australia. Ah, uh, Australia, can't Australia, Australia, Australia. Uh, but anyways, um, the name pretty much explains itself what those magazines are. Um, but in their recent issue, they included a blurb about Kingdom Hearts 3, which is of course coming out this year, 2018. And in this little blurb, they make some pretty bold fucking claims that have not been announced yet, at least if they're real. Um, so yeah. Let's just read this little blurb here and see what they have to say. The latest game in the Disney Meets Final Fantasy mashup series is split between the perspectives of Best Buds, Sora, and Riku. You will meet a host of new characters whose help you will need to stop the evil Master Xehanort from bringing about another Keyblade War. Familiar faces and places return, but there are some new worlds to visit inspired by Toy Story, Fantasia, and Tangled. The flow of the action, too, will be recognizable for fans, but there will also be a few new tweaks. For example, drive forms will return with new weapons, and combat movements have also been improved. You'll now be able to wall run and even climb larger enemies. So if you paid attention to that little blurb right there, you notice that they've made two pretty bold claims that have not been announced yet. Um, one is that Riku will be another playable character, in uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 and that number two Fantasia will be a world in the game as well which of course has not been announced yet. Tetsuya Nomura did recently state that there will be a second playable character in the game but it has not been confirmed what that character is. So this is some very again very bold claims and since these are bold claims I want you to keep in mind that this is just speculative you know what I mean this is just rumor. Um, there's no, any, like, interview or, like, piece of news that's been released to corroborate this information right here. So this is just speculation on our part to see whether this is real or not, or they're just speculating themselves. I don't know, maybe they're just bullshitting the whole thing. Um, so yeah. Um, on another playable character in the game, it'd probably be Riku. I would just assume so, because I just feel like that's the most likely candidate to be the second playable character and also uh, Kyrie as well that could be also a very likely candidate because as we saw at the end of Dream Drop Distance um, she is getting her Keyblade training so that is an equally also possible character to be playing as in Kingdom Hearts 3 but I just feel like Riku would be a more interesting story arc I guess um, because he is a more layered character and he has a lot of other storylines going on Kyrie. It's just kind of there. I feel she's not a bad character. It's just that she's kind of there for most of the time. Um, but maybe they could add some story elements in there to help her move along. But I don't know. Um, but there is a lot of story stuff that Riku has to go through. Um, and that probably needs to be resolved in Kingdom Hearts 3. So I just feel like that'd be the possible uh, candidate for being the second playable character. Again, this is just speculation. But that's just my opinion on it personally and on the Fantasia comment um of course that was also featured in Dream Drop Distance um as the World Symphony of Sorcery which was a very cool world I really like that world that was probably the best world in that game fight me um but yeah if that's going to be returning that'd be interesting to see what they would do with that um probably just the same thing they did with Dream Drop Distance um but I don't want them to do the same thing twice you know what I mean um, I want them to do something different, something unique, something that makes it stand out um, from the other one. Um, maybe add some more story in there. But it also says in the article that they could be confusing it with something else because we did get that screenshot of the mysterious tower um, for like the Final Fantasy VII's 20th anniversary, stuff like that. That screenshot from Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, so they may be confusing that with that. Um, or they could be confusing stuff with like 
from Dream Drop Distance or something like that, like some statements made or something like that. I don't know. Cage 13 did reach out to them for a comment on um, the PlayStation Official Magazine UK. Um, and as of right now, as of recording this video, they haven't really said anything yet. So, um, yeah, this is kind of up in the air to see what exactly this means and what kind of statements they're making here. So again, just when you're reading this, keep in mind that this is purely speculation. This would be huge if this was real. But yeah, this is just rumors and just keep it as that. Take it with a grain of salt. So that's all I want to talk about with you guys today. Make sure I down in the comments below your opinion on this news. Do you think this is real? Do you think that the statements they're making here are legit? Um, do you think they're just pulling this out of their ass? Um, and what do you think about the statements they're making here? Do you think Riku would be a cool playable character in the game? And would you like to see Fantasia return in Kingdom Hearts 3 if this is real? Make sure I down in the comments below your opinion. Also, make sure to subscribe and like this video because that'd be really awesome if you did. This has been K Central, and I will see you guys later. Bye.